Hi, how you doing? In the name of Christ, it's your girl Cranky. Que carabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're Stella. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. I'm boiling. Like, just utter ruin of boil. One second. Yeah, that should, that'll do. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, oh no, what are you, what? Like, it's so, like, what in the world? Anyway, um, it is the, what do you call it? It's the, I'm so hot, yo, like, um, the 5th of December, 2023, at 19, 1909. Oh, nine. At 1909, um, yeah, anyway, whatever. Uh, let's just get into it straight away. So this is what my hair looks like ever since washing it right just let me get a little bit closer yeah i think it's okay oh wow and then it all went dark over there okay uh what do i want to say guys yo hi yeah ne? the bible says count the cost of being a disciple this is it this is it this is the cost of being a child of god like i just like constant barrage of attacks that just never stop like never ending incendiariness insensitivity i don't know how many times i've been told by darkness to stop working to stop this thing and i've been tempted to stop to just for a season so I could get a break but I realized that I'm gonna eventually come back again um, I once stopped ministry because I was being abused by a cyber stalker some guy from the past and I stopped for two years or something uh, well I didn't stop I was still recording in the background telling myself I'll upload the content in the future but I wasn't uploading on the internet coupled with also persecution from my family that intimidated me to stop yeah um and in that season i will not deny i was reprieved i was reprieved i i did i had less demonic attack people thought i was buried i done with people thought i was finished and so they left me alone there was barely any witchcraft operating during that time and uh, i was striving you know not as under attack as i presently am but that was then okay that was that season and that era and that time and it was beneficial for its own purposes for me to be uh, underground for that time. I was reprieved, but it also built my spirit and it made me a better Christian. To a certain extent, I was in solitude, isolation. But the, the Bible says that there's a time for war and there's a time for peace. And there came a time when I had to now make war. And then I came back. I came back on YouTube and then I won myself another stalker. I won myself another menace, another horrible man. And not just him, but just a bunch of people that have been working to the nail to like finish me off. And this afternoon I was pacing up and down toggling with whether or not I should continue because there were there is quite a, a hefty amount of dedication concerning my life um, there are very sore attempts at causing me to commit suicide and also uh, just stagnancy make sure she goes nowhere just this morning I woke up hearing dumb thoughts along the lines of we must start her again from scratch they keep going back to the drawing board changing their minds because I'm a taboo okay uh, so they went from let her never work again to she must start again from scratch okay yeah and because of all the stuff i you know uh, thanks to all the macabre and the sorrow in my heart over this issue over these issues thanks to the sense of macabre that i feel i was like maybe i should just hunker down and see how they do maybe i should just disappear like for a couple of months a month two just bury myself and see how they react and the lord told me you bury yourself if you do that if you keep quiet they're going to do spells to make you resurface to find out if you are still alive or dead or what and when you do resurface whether or not it's your own prerogative to resurface um will, will be irrelevant to them they will think it's their witchcraft working they will think that they're controlling you like a puppet on a string at the end of the day i'm the one that sends you and I'm the one that says, do this, do that, speak, say this, say that. And you don't get to just sit on prophecy that I give you because you want relief from satanic people. I told you I will deal with them myself. The guy from the US is on death row. Is that basic? It's only a matter of time before he dies. And many of these other people that are afflicting me are also on death row. But those that aren't, on
on death row they are on end of life row in other words they're at the end of their ropes and that's why they keep doing this the world is gonna basically handle them earth is gonna happen on them life is gonna catch up that's what i'm getting at life is just going to slap them upside the head and when that happens <clears throat> you won't even know you won't even find out because you know they are attacking you from a distance looking at you as through binoculars and when a sniper shoots dead some perched animal on a roof and you are at like a one kilometer distance away from that person when they drop dead you won't know you won't know when they get handled when they get arrested you won't know when what happens happens all you're going to feel all of a sudden is just a sense of relief from a lot of demonic attack you are just going to be reprieved um from what it is that the Lord showed me, the judgment that's coming on these people, like I already spoke at length about the death that's coming to some of them, a lot of them, but those that are not going to die, life is going to happen. And by life, I mean, because they're generally dishonest people who struggle to keep their um, ducks in a bunch, if that's even, you know, an analogy, they are going to get caught found wanting and so some people are literally going to prison as in they're going to get arrested one day in the office the south african police is going to march in with a warrant for uh, for uh, of arrest for this particular person and right in the office they're just going to be handcuffed and taken away ultimately prosecuted and then sentenced and so that's when the witchcraft from that particular angle will stop the Lord is sending marching orders to these people and he is basically finishing them off. So mine is to reprieve myself in whatever way, fashion I can every day and trust that it, God has got this. I need my ministry. I need somewhere to come and talk. It's like my therapist couch. I need to be able to come here every day and just get stuff off my chest, get stuff off my chest. Um, yeah, and if I don't do this, what, must I play Candy Crush on my phone for hours on end non-stop and hope I win every game and not lose my lives? Must I watch Netflix? Must, yeah, properly just like waste my brain or depress myself with news across the world. Looking at all of this insanity going on and then just kind of, you know, sit on it and not comment on it. Not give, you know, my own two cents on the matter, how I feel. I would implode, following which I would then explode. And that's not God's interest at all. My silence is my death in the worst way. I need my ministry to keep myself alive. It is a, a, some kind of a, a life support machine and I am living on that life support. Deep, deep, deep every day. I'm not thriving. I'm just surviving off my ministry. It is my life support. And until such time that I get unhooked from these machines and live on my own, this thing is keeping me alive. So there is no way that I'm stepping away from it because I'm not gonna go and make like the American man and put a bullet in my mouth. I am not going to go and make like the whole horde of South African men that are about to be arrested for crimes they committed because I ended up settling, compromising, and then imagining I gotta go commit crime to get ahead these guys are going to get embarrassed on christmas lunches do you understand while carrying their children and throwing them in the air and the police are going to knock on their door with warrants of arrest people are going to prison the people that are uh, afflicting me like this like i said a lot of them are they 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 care not a lot all of them they their characters leave a lot to be desired they're not honest people they've gotten everything in life if not everything they've gotten almost everything if not everything in life by ill-gotten gain they are criminals they are miscreants they are outlaws um in society that however have got reputations for being good people but there have been investigations getting done about them under wraps and information data has been getting collected about them that's ultimately going to get to a point of arrest so when they get arrested in their syndicates that they work for i will be given relief is that basic I will be given a relief from spiritual attack plus whatever door it is that God opens nobody can shut it so even in the absence of some stopping what they're doing because they haven't been arrested or they're still walking around for whatever reason God has just left them in that state I am NOT a prisoner 
I am not incarcerated by any evil men or women. I am a monument. I can't say that enough. An example that God is using to the wicked as to what under heaven he does with them when they don't repent. So I don't really need these guys to be arrested. Neither do I need do I need them to die, seeing as some of them are inevitably going to die. Um, I don't need any of that to happen. But they are made to believe that I need any of that to happen. And that's the reason why they continue in this way. And it is their continuation that going that is going to ultimately, uh, what do you call this thing? It is going to ultimately uh, cause them to lose grace from God. And upon losing grace, that's when people then just like, you know, unleash on you. All of your good tidings and whatever it is that's been keeping you together with sticky tapes, it's the sticky tape, it starts to fall apart. So that's what's good. Mm. It is, however, very exhausting in the run-up too. I'm having to be comforted, like, uh, as with booster cables. The way that I faint so much every day. I keep seeing the exact same things on a loop, like, over and over and over. At, to a point where I don't want to talk about them. Like, sexual perversion, lots and lots and lots of it. And I'm, like, I, I'm not doing this again. I'm not talking about this topic again. I'm not talking about Corbella again. I'm not talking about gender-based violence again, because I keep talking about it. They just keep trying, and over and over. And the thing about spells is, is when they're thrown in your grill, they actually kind of depress you. They, they wear you out, they make you slow, they make you lethargic, you know, you struggle. To, to do your day, to go about normally. You are tormented mentally. Yeah, stuff like that. Mm. And when that's like a whole thing, uh, you're never gonna be okay. Unless you're always in a fast praying, warding stuff off and finding something to encourage yourself. So the Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, but also count the cost of being a disciple. And these are the things that you endure as a disciple. You who endures to the end will be saved. You just get abused, attacked by kingdom of darkness people that are working to the nail to basically honor and pay homage to their little devil. And upon doing that, afflict you very, 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 very uh, extremely. And yeah, then you feel like trash. Kind of like how I'm feeling like trash. So I'm not going to talk about these zombies at length again. I, I do want to simmer down though, because like I said, I don't have new content at this point because I keep seeing the same spells, just different angles, different people doing the same stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Ace Joe, my, the, the biggest bane of my existence is having people find my channel and then they follow me for five seconds, make a discovery that I'm struggling and then try to do witchcraft on me despite how much I hate it. Uh, they don't have the history, they don't have the background, they're just coming in today. And upon coming in today, they then cast spells on my ministry and on me. And I have to talk about it again. And again, and again, and again, no. Uh, go to my old content. I'm not rapping on about it. I'm just not doing that. People will always find out that I'm suffering while I'm still suffering, but I'm not disappearing. Is that basic? So I think what's going to happen just going forward is um, I'll, I'll just rock up and speak maybe for like 20 minutes, half an hour. These elaborate videos where I'm just expanding and expanding, I just don't have the energy for it, neither do I have the content in my mind for it. I keep repeating myself, it's like spoon feeding. So just for the sake of having a presence every single day, I will come and I'll talk for like 20 minutes and leave short little videos that are going to require very little editing, very little, you know, Whatever's going on here with my phone, um, you know, the glitching, the twitching, the speech lags, the the issues with the phone, basically, yeah, that is something that um, I am not going to be having a problem with anymore. Look at it. Look at it. You just saw a speech lag right there. It just slapped you in your face. Yeah, well, um, we're not going to be suffering with that too much anymore because I'm doing literally just enough to get through the day. No more. Am I going to be expanding and expanding and expand? Unless I need to. Unless I see something so brand spanking fresh and new. Unless I'm revealed to something just out of this world, absolutely novel. Then I'll share it. Otherwise, I'm not repeating myself. If a person sends me a new death spell, I'm not repeating it. If I get sent a love spell, I'm not repeating it. Gorobella, I'm not repeating it. Begamina Pella, I'm not repeating it. I'm not repeating um, destroy the career or make sure she doesn't rise. Ensure she never does okay. She doesn't get past this point. Like, yeah, let her channel stay slow. Uh, YouTube shadow ban her. Like, random strange stuff coming from strangers and people I know people that fly from out of Facebook or wherever it is 
mokiba or letzing thing and then they just you know decide to check on me and then slap me with a spell i'm not repeating it because it's almost as if the when they get a mention they are like huh feel honored not only do they feel honored but they also feel very heavily um uh what is this irritated with me raising the nonsense that they're into and then they cast more spells so i don't know like i said i'll rock up and i'll speak something every day but not at length one thing i will give you though that's new that i uh sort of kind of got told this past evening as i lay and even as i woke up is jordan 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 and i used to think i thought initially that the lord was speaking about jordan the country uh but no he just said jordan and when i was rethinking on jordan um according to what it is that it might mean in particular for me how i would relate with it i then realized that god was speaking about the river jordan and the river jordan of which in the particular scene of elijah being by it what happened at the river jordan you guys elijah got raptured from that place a chariot of fire came from the sky and collected him at the river jordan i woke up just hearing the word jordan on a loop and came with the conclusion that perhaps my exhaustion and my fatigue and me being at the end of myself with these people repeating the exact same spells is because i'm sitting at the river jordan and the rapture is about to happen so basic maybe we're going home yeah i am tired it's clear and if i'm tired i guess then it's the opportune time to be tired and do shorter videos and do less work because we're at the river jordan now aren't we we're going home it's the rapture it's happening um last year uh, around say november i kept getting a flood of dreams about moving into uh, three mansions in particular it was three literally the number three three mansions all of which were um, unfurnished because they were about to be moved into by an individual that would then furnish them and there was a christmas tr a christmas tree at the entry hall of each house each house there were like three mansions that all belonged to me like literally all three of those big houses belonged to me they were all empty i was about to move into all of them and the only item of furniture or thing in the house really was a, was christmas trees yeah at each door so when God showed me that dream last year in November, I was like, what in the world does that mean? And I got all excited at the time. I was busy watching for the rapture. I have stopped doing that because it's very disheartening and discouraging to watch for nothing but the rapture. But because of it, the dream I got in, in November of 2022, I thought that that meant that, uh, well, I interpreted it to mean that I'm moving into my house when there is a Christmas tree at the door. I'm moving it into my eternal mansion, my heavenly mansion. And in my dream, I inherited three such mansions. And there was a Christmas tree at the beginning of them. And I interpreted it to mean that I'm moving into my heavenly home to furnish it and just like permanently just hang in there. Um, at, now what do you call this? At around the time when there's a Christmas tree at the entry halls of everybody's house. And well, I mean, that's like what, around Christmas, yeah. Uh, December I got excited and I was like yo uh maybe we're going home this December eh 25 December came and went Christmas came and went New Year's Eve came and went and I was like hey watch me wait for the rapture again never watch me wait for the rapture again never all year long I keep hearing uh all year long for the past two years I have been hearing the um, the song uh what is this um yes uh, two songs that ring in my mind the first one is um there's a speech like it's because i'm using the camera i prefer however i'm about to be done very soon so it's okay uh the first song that i hear is i'm dreaming of a white christmas da -da 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 -da. yeah i'm da 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 and then the second one that i um keep hearing on a loop all year long is all i want for christmas is you yeah just as i'm walking doing whatever eating breakfast i am hearing i'm dreaming of a white christmas i then move on ignore it and then a good two weeks later i'll be hearing all i want for christmas is you in the middle of my suffering yeah uh, so what does that mean you know i am dreaming of basically uh, spending christmas where it's white and beautiful and glorious heaven and indeed all i want for christmas is jesus all i want is jesus nothing else like you know take keep keep everything you can take everything else i'm cool i just want to go home 
I've got earth fatigue. I really do. So I'm not trying to predict no rapture or whatever. But like I've been getting these well this kind of this kind of dream the past two years. And all and the past two years on a loop I've been hearing two songs ringing in my mind at different times of the year after different intervals have progressed that both speak about a white Christmas or me basically getting for Christmas somebody that I really want and that's Jesus I don't know River Jordan that's what I'm thinking so maybe I'm at the end of my rope like this precisely because I'm there all I've ever wanted for Christmas was Christ and I'm there apparently allegedly I done got the Lord now yeah so Jordan 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 River Jordan we're at the River Jordan I just have to hold on for a little minute longer and it also makes sense because the Lord did let me know that before the rapture happened there would be a massive attempt on my life for suicide that people would be speaking into my ears silly nothing through demons trying to cause me to commit suicide and it would happen in increasing measure around the date of the rapture so as um, heavily afflicted by intentions unto suicide as I am mm, yeah I'm just thinking maybe we're going home because God did show me that the attack on my mind would be very strong around that time but we don't know we might just be hearing the all I want for Christmas is you all year again next year and I'm dreaming of a white Christmas all day long next year too. Mm. Uh, oh, and another thing that I also keep hearing is that these uh, animals with their insanity, their sorcery, their insistence on hurting the earth and their lack of repentance um, is what causes God to take the body of Christ because it becomes insufferable to continue on the earth anymore. And he calls them the Grinch that stole Christmas. Yeah. You know, like that movie, The Grinch That Stole Christmas? That kiddies movie? Yeah, he calls them Grinches that stole Christmas. In other words, the Christmas that people are anticipating they're gonna get in whatever year, in 2023. All of these menaces that are evil with their satanic worship and their incendiary agenda against the earth and their persistence on eradicating Christianity from the face of the earth, their insistence on wickedness will have caused the Lord for the sake of his church to rapture them because they no longer are able to live survivably on earth. And so bring about the worst time in the history of the human race from around the time of Christmas. From around the time of Christmas. So they are all like the Grinch that stole Christmas. Anyway, I hope you guys have been edified. That's all that I wanted to say. I'm not predicting the rapture. rapture. I'm just saying that this morning I woke up being told Jordan, 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 as in the River Jordan, as in Elijah's rapture, and uh, yeah, everything else that I told you. So maybe the rapture is happening, but if it's not, then we don't know. But I do know for a fact that some people are literally about to plunge into hell fire because of all of this insanity don't know when all these things are gonna happen they all are getting told me all at the same time people getting arrested I'm getting that understanding all at the same time so it could all be happening around the rapture I don't know I don't know oh we could still have another year and in this coming year people gonna get arrested people gonna go in the ground I don't know I just get given prophecy and me I give it I tell, I speak. When I get told, I'm just tatan. Here you go. Take it. This is what God has shown me. When it's happening, I don't know. Just take it. So I can't do the math. I can't put the pieces of the puzzle together. All I can do is give you the individual Lego pieces and you can assemble them for yourself. Okay? Cool. Signing out in Christ's name. I hope you've been edified. Cranberry K. Bye.